Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how and where you can create a Schoology portfolio so that you can archive your work for the year or for a class, that sort of thing, or just highlight certain things. Now obviously the first thing you have to do is to sign in. So let's do that. And when you do sign in, the place where you find the portfolio is really under your name. So go find your name in the upper right hand corner, click on that, and this takes you to your profile page, which is a whole other video in itself how to how to edit that but under the left hand side you will see something a new tab called portfolios just go ahead and add that one click on it rather and you can see that I've actually have three portfolios that I've created one for my honors algebra class one for my professional development uh, from the two different years and the way you actually add one of these is just to simply click on the new portfolio tab and I'm just going to go through some real basics here so that you can just get started and play with it on your own. There's really three things that I try to take care of. The title, the description, and then I usually put an image of some kind. So the title. Uh, let's just call this one Professional Development. And I'm going to say, let's make it 2016, 2017, even though we're not quite there. And then I'm just going to put down Evidence of my professional development for 2016-2017. Okay, so I've just made a description there. And then finally I want to put in some kind of an image. So let me just go ahead and upload an image. And this will take me to, right now this one happens to just take me to my desktop. But I can also go to uh, any folder where I've kept different images. And let's just say Let's just use that one as an example. Okay, and then hit update. And there you go. Now to actually add items to your portfolio, you would just click on portfolio items, and then you have a variety of different things that you can actually do. All right, you can link a URL to a website that you've created, um, to a, a YouTube channel, to a video that you've done, that sort of thing. Same thing with files, submissions, and pages. All right. Hope that was helpful. Just go ahead and create one and start playing with it.